back on again. It's interesting how the tree's roots all sort of entwine and make like a path along the top. You know what I mean? It's like you could almost walk along there, couldn't you? Just met a biker. They, they, they amaze me, you know, they cycle up these hills. I mean, goodness, I can hardly walk up a hill, let alone cycle up one. Yeah, that looks lovely, that, that park in there. Of course, I, I, like I said, when I talk about family tree, we've got people in our family tree who have had mansions, big mansions. They were rich people. It is in the tree, it's recorded. And I've done a lot of work and verification and research. I've not made it up. My, my, my Zara and my kids, they know I, I worked really hard doing it. I spent a lot of money. Thousands of pounds I've spent. Thousands. That's anything from doing the ink, buying the ink for the printing to fares and petrol for travelling to all over the country. Um, subscriptions to different ancestral sites like Ancestry.com I belong to. I've belonged to that from since it started. Um, I used to belong to Latter-day Saints but you didn't have to pay. I have to pay to see my own stuff by the way. And I mean, so I don't mind sharing in a way, but sometimes I think, God, I've done all that hard work and then someone's just, ri you know, roping it all in. And I've spent the money and done all the footwork. But then I've got to share with them because they are sharing some of the stuff they've got. But every now and again, I go private. I go private for a while. Especially if I'm doing verification and I'm not quite sure about something, I'll, go, I'll, I'll put it on private. Yeah, it's beautiful here, isn't it? Autumn, full autumn, this is. I've got another month of it. And by the time December comes stomping in, all the leaves will have lost their... All the trees will have lost their leaves, apart from the evergreens. But this is a lovely walk, isn't it? No, I, I don't think I've ever walked down here before. I don't reckon I have. It's nice. I'm going to turn off for now because I want to take some pictures of all this beautiful scenery. Right, carrying on with the video again. Walking down the skirting of Foxton Park. Looking over now and again. See if I can see any deer in there. It's a lovely wide path. It gets quite bumpy further down. But this is my end of today's walk really, walking back down to Holford Green where Alberta's parked. Yeah, I will try and come out again. I'm trying to get, um, I'm, I'm glad I've done a bit of November. I could be out again next week, you know, I mean, I, I really don't know yet. There's still other coombs I'm still exploring. But it does depend on the weather, and of course it's getting darker. It'll be dark at half past three soon. So, I mean, what's the time now? Twenty to nearly twenty to three. I mean, I, I'm going to be back in the green in a minute, so I'm not too worried. And I haven't rushed. I've done more and more videos though. Look, there's a track there you can walk down to probably to um, a fox and house down there. Because if there are deer, they would have blended in. They, I thought I'd seen some sort of creature then, but it's probably a squirrel. Yeah, I've got... Look at that. Look at, look at it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Hanging on there, the yellows and the oranges, the rusty colours. There's another way down. See, if you went all the way down there, that would take you to Old Foxton as well. 
I'm just having a little gaze just in case I catch Turn it off a minute. Right, I'm nearly back at Hole for Green, taking last minute pictures and images of odd bits of fungi, old rotting logs, weird shaped logs that could look like dinosaurs. Um, beautiful autumnness, the leaves, the trees, and the back of the dog pound. I never knew you could actually get in the back. Maybe they still use it. Put something up. Let, let the dogs put, in, put them in here. This is the dog pound at Holford. <sighs> something to do with old fox and house as well. Yeah, look. I didn't even know you could get in here. This has been here for a long time. There's a plaque on the wall outside. I just noticed a gap. It's because it's autumn and all the leaves are... Are falling off. That's a lovely tall tree there. A oh, big pine. Yeah, it's a big strong pine. It's a lovely scene here though, isn't it? This is all to do with old Foxton. Yeah, I came up this little track here. This is probably the last of the video now. Yeah, I've just come down from up there. This is the dog pound. This is where a deer was supposed to have been savaged um, and shot and all sorts of things the other week here. But this is the dog pound. This ancient dog pound was given to the village of Holford in 1982 by the family of the late John Lancelot Berriton, descendants of the St Albans owners of Alfoxton since the 15th century, whose crest appears above. Here we are, look. So it's um, f five, six hundred years there's been a dog pound here. There's been hunting going on. Don't forget Henry VIII was into his hunting. Big time. And uh, there's another way up to Old Foxton and Wordsworth House up there. I never knew you could get in the back. I never knew that before. There's another image of the dog, just like that, actually on the part of the house, on Fox and House. It's much bigger and bolder and blacker, the one on the house. So I never knew I could get in the back. It's amazing, isn't it? And there's a signpost for a walk up through there, which I haven't done yet. That might be an idea, see? There's a signpost, you can walk across the land, you might be able to walk through the park. There was a woman here a minute ago taking photographs. I don't know what of this. Was it of this um, big log? Not really sure. She stood here and was taking photographs of that. It's a very big log, I must admit. And um, down there in that valley, whether you can, I don't know if you can hear the water. There's fast-moving water. This is where the Huguenots, the weavers, came. And there's old huts and ruins down in that valley. Um, I haven't explored down there, but um, that is well known as well. So this is the end of a day. End of a lovely day. Back to Holford now, the green's just down there. Yeah, it's been um, a good day. Just turning off a minute, take a picture of the pound again. <laughs> 